And Jesus tells them, I am that person. I am the creator. I am the sustainer. I am the bread of life. I am the high priest. You come to God through me and I give you the bread of life. I am the object of worship. I'll build a greater temple than the one you have because I am greater than the temple. Tear this thing down. He's going to say that in a few years. Tear this thing down brick by brick. I'm going to build a new and better temple, speaking of his own body. And he resurrects from the grave. And in the church, we're the temple of the living God. And here, I'm the Lord of the Sabbath, he's declaring. The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. He's saying, I created the universe. The law exists for me and to point to me. I don't point it. I don't submit to the law because it points to me. Now, Jesus does fully submit to the law. He fulfills it from the inside out. But he doesn't submit to it by necessity. He submits to it like the author has integrity with his work. He submits to it because it's his. He is the one who wrote the law. He is the one who fulfills the law. How obscene is it to critique him for breaking the Sabbath when it points to him?